Hi. Hello. Good evening, Lila. Hi. Hi, Wendery. Hi, Anam. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sana. Nice to see you. Hi, Dalal. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Rawan. Hi, Fatma. Hello. How is your evening? Hi, Manan. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Hi. Hello, everyone. Assalam alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Hi Sara, hi Wadha, hi Mona. Hi everyone. Nice to see you, happy to see you. So hi Lulu. So today we'll do relax yoga. Today we'll be relaxing. And of course, um, I will give options. Maybe you don't want too much relaxing, so I will give you more intense options. Thank you, girls. Uh, this is my way. You know what? Uh, I'm very thankful to you that you are joining and that you are with me. So in this way, we are helping each other. So for me, that you are joining me, it gives me a very big uh, purpose and high rider and a very big uh, inspiration because it gives a meaning to what I do. And it makes me so happy to know that I can help you and you can help me because I cannot do this alone. <laughs> if I will make a live stream and there will be zero people, like, this is no purpose, yeah? So I'm very grateful that you, we are together. And we are supporting each other in this way. I support you and you support me. So well, we are making the history right now. Yeah, thank you, Stana. Shukran. So let's wait just one more minute, just one more, and then hi, Sita. Sita. So you will love it because it will be relaxing and especially with a focus on the hips. Today we will go into the hips. Yeah, I love you too. Hi everyone. Yeah, today will, will be nice and relaxing session. And of course, if you want to go for more, you will be always able to choose more intense option that I will be giving you. Okay. Yeah, hips. <laughs> And um, hips are very helpful, like working with hips is helpful in a way that, hi Rola, that we improve our mobility. And uh, what is the mobility of the hips? Is that you are able to do your everyday, hi, 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 Anud, nice to see you. Uh, improve everyday activity, for example, some pain in your lower back yeah it's connected with hips even the pain in the knees sometimes can be connected with the hips yeah let's start let's start yeah let's do it no more talking so i will switch switch off the comments and let's start so find your place on the floor if you have a mat stand on your mat and we will inhale Bring your palms together and exhale. Imagine that you are cleaning yourself, cleaning like general cleaning. Inhale and exhale, just clean yourself. Every day is a new start and a new beginning. If you did something you don't like today, it's okay, you can rewrite it tomorrow. And exhale. Amazing. And we will start with uh, interlacing our arms, uh, fingers. And I will try to bend the knee. And try to push the knee all the way up. Now, as always, if you need support, go to the wall to give you support if you are not okay with the balance. If you are okay, stand up. Finding the balance, the leg which is on the floor is straight and let's warm up the ankle, rotating it to one side, three, four and five and 
to the other side. Five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And I will place this leg down. We will go for the left one, interlace the fingers, take the knee, and find your balance first. And once you are there, let's go with the ankle to one side. Don't hide it. Three, four, five, and to the other side. Amazing. Three, four, and five. Excellent. And place this leg down. Now, we'll go back to the right leg. And this thumb, I'll try to push it all the way into my chest, as high as I can. And stay here, breathe in one, good, two, three, four, and five. Let your foot go down. And the other side, same, try to bring it as high as you can. And let's stay, breathing, one, good, two, three, four, and five, slowly go down, excellent. Now. I will place my toes on the floor and I will push the knee to the front and out. To the front and out. Like if you can keep the balance on one leg and place <coughs> your foot on your shin, on your calf, do it there. If you can do it all the way from here, no, let's do it from the calf because it's, it will give us more range of motion. And let's go. Three, two, and you are trying to open your hip to push the knee out. And just one more. Amazing. Go back to the center. You are in the center, yes, and you will try to catch your ankle and, and push the heel into your hip. Again, if you need the wall, touch the wall. And make sure this leg is not going forward. Your knees are on one line and your knees are together. And try to push it, push it, push it, push it. And stand two, chest up, push the belly in, activate it. Two, and one. Excellent. Now let's go for the left side. Same. I will place my toes on the floor or on my calf and I'll go forward and exhaling open into the side feeling this rotation in my hip joint again don't push yourself too much if you feel pain if you feel you can't push more stop there okay and two more two and one excellent and from here i will try to find the ankle and standing here knees together and i will be trying to push my heel into my hip again push your chest up and push the belly in amazing and we are beating two and one, exhale down, amazing. Again, we will go five times. Inhale, center, exhale, side. Two, three, four, five, Amazing, now go straight away to your ankle, push the knees together, push the heel to your hip, push the stomach in, chest up, 
and try to stretch like if you are holding the wall hold the wall for the balance if you can try to stretch this arm all the way up and stay one go two three four and five exhale go down and same to the left side again you are on your toes or on your calf yes and let's go in and out so this is a teenage three two if you remember the three pose this is it four and five amazing from here try to find your ankle oops my balance uh, knees together you're trying to push the heel into your hip activate the belly push the belly button inside chest up and try to reach all the way up holding the balance here and stay one good two excellent three four and five exhale all the way down now let's add to our sequence one more pose so what we will do from the three yeah we'll go we'll try to go up or higher not on uh, the foot is not on your knee joint it's either above or below if you can go into the complete three here try to push this knee out like if it wants to go in try to push this out chest up belly button in arms and stay one good so we are preparing ourselves to hold the balance to you you may go as well to the wall to hold this one four and five now from here my right arm will go behind i will take this and i will go straight away up yes knees together arms up and stay four three two and one now from here i will take my leg bend this knee and place the leg above now here you might need the wall because this one is intense so you might start with the wall here if your hips are tight for, for you this will be more than enough if you want more try to reach the floor with your arms relaxing your neck and stay five good four three two and one and then slowly up and we will go back amazing same to the left side if you don't have any support and you feel like you're shaking go somewhere to the chair to the wall to the butt to the table where you can grab okay where, where you can lean over so left side same build your tree go to the baby teenage tree or go all the way up into the adult tree remember here pushing the knee out pushing your stomach in chest up imagine that someone is pulling you from the top of your head and stay here breathing two three excellent four and five amazing now from here oops i need to support myself i'll go for the ankle and from here all the way up okay pushing the heel into the hip and from here i'll bend my right leg and place my left over it so if I need support, I will go for the support and I'll just stretch to the extent that my body allows me or 
I will go all the way down and try to stretch all the way up. All the way up. Excellent. Then breathe two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale slowly up and back down. Amazing. Now our next progression. So you may start with the baby tree or go to the adult tree, go all the way up. Same as well, you can do it with your wall, okay? You can do same with your wall. You may stay here or take your right ankle with your left arm and stretch your right arm all the way up. And here, what we are, what is our job here, here we are trying to push the knee all the way down. And feel your knee, feel your hips, maybe it will be too much. So if you are just able to hold it here, pretty much enough. And three more breaths. Three, two, and one. Now watch from here. If you need support, go for your support. Straight away, it will go down. And if you, uh, you can just stay here and stretch. If you want more, you will be bending your knee more and stretching your leg. Bending your knee and stretching. So you can just stay, breathe, or do it more actively. And just two more. Two. And one. Amazing. Inhale up. And place your right foot on the floor. Let's go for the left leg. So same. You can start just with the three poles. Pushing the knee out. Engaging the stomach in. Chest goes all the way up or go higher or all the way up pushing the heel into your inner thigh pulling the muscles over your kneecaps up find some spot on the level of your eyes which is not moving to focus there now push the stomach in chest up amazing and from here you may stay here or take your left ankle with your right arm Pushing the knee down and the arm will go all the way up. Amazing. Two breathing. Three. Four. And five. Now from here, you will bend the leg and you will try to go all the way down. So you may just stretch here, holding something. Or you may, may do it more intensely, bending your knee and stretching your leg. Bending the knee. Yes. And just two more to go. And just one more. Great job. And then slowly inhale and up <laughs> inhale arms up and exhale clean yourself clean yourself clean yourself remember general clean two and exhale three amazing now let's go uh, you, we will open the feet wider and I will turn my feet out as if I am a ballerina, okay? If you can open a little bit wider, amazing. So, place the palms on your waist and we will be bending my cry. This is a small bend in your knees and up. Small and up. Now, girls. And guys, if you are watching me, here your knees may have tendency to go inside. So you'll be like 
doing it like some strange kind of ballerina so make sure that you are pushing your knees to the sides there to the sides okay out uh, maybe your knees will not listen to you but send them this signal that they should be out okay and give me five uh, squats which are deeper so we are preparing ourselves for the goddess pose pushing your knees away and just two more two and one excellent now place the palms over your knees and try to dance from side to side bouncing on your heels chest up and you're trying to push the knees out amazing and then stretch your legs around your back relax keep your legs super straight then rounding your back go all the way up this hip hip uh, mobility might feel a, uh, very intense you know that's why we will take it step by step again turn your feet out Try to bend as low as you can and we will stay in one position to one side and you are trying to make your feet on one line if it's possible. And again, I'm trying to push myself from side to side. Two, three, four, pushing that, that knee out and five now stretch your legs turn your feet slightly in straight legs relax your neck and on the inhale rounding your back go all the way up amazing and we will do the same to the other side so again try to turn your feet out sit and I will, i'm going to the other side so i'm pushing this knee out and this knee out too at the same time and let's go from side to side amazing four and five excellent go up turn the feet in stretch your legs and then round in your back Go all the way up. Excellent. And then again, we will turn the feet out. And I think we are ready for the final pose. So I will sit as deep as I can, pushing my knees out. Take your elbows, 90 degrees in your elbows. And this is the goddess pose. And stay five, good. Trying to push the knees out, four, three, two and one exhale go all the way down and round in the back go all the way up turn the feet together and again inhaling and exhaling sort of cleaning ourselves inhale and exhale to the chest amazing and just one more great job now we will open our feet slightly to the width of the hips yeah and i will stretch my arms and i will bend my knees and i'll try to go all the way down and if you see my arms are inside not out place them inside okay and from here, I will take my elbows and I'll try to push my knees out. And join my palms together. Chest will go all the way up. And I'll try to sit here. If I am um, losing the balance, touch the floor, but try to push the knees out. Now, if you can place your heels on the floor, heels on the floor and pushing the knees out anyway. Three four and five and then roll back and sit on the floor amazing 
from here we are sitting yes and i will place my right ankle over the left knee and if i can if i can i'll push the left heel closer and if my back goes round with the help of the arms i'll try to push the chest up and i should feel it in my hip here and stay five good four and here you are trying to push your knee far from your chest you see three two and one excellent from here stretch your leg on the floor and stretch all the way forward now if this is your limit you'll just stay here if you can if you're flexible enough take your foot and we will be stretching all the way down and breathing now even if you are here you can't reach too much it's totally fine what i want you to do just relax and focus on your breathing and we will stay here longer five more breaths inhaling and exhaling that's five good if you want even more stretch try to pull your toes towards you oh then you will feel so much stretch in the calves especially three two and one excellent amazing now this leg this leg which is here i'll try to pull it into my hip and i'll try to push the knee down now be very careful with doing that because if your knee if your hip is not flexible and knee is tense you may feel a lot of pain so you may just stay in the first okay if you can place the heel into the hip and try to push the knee all the way down inhale and exhale down amazing and just three more three two and just one more one amazing and then stretch your leg on the floor relax and we will go for the left leg for the left leg i will do the same on the other side so i'll place my left leg on the top of my right knee and if i can i will push the heel closer and if my back is round i'll try to push my arms into the floor and stretch my uh, torso all the way up at the same time pushing the knee this knee far from my chest and stay here breathing five good chest up four chest up three two and just one more excellent stretch your leg on the floor and from here inhale and exhale stretch all the way forward you may just stay here that's enough or you may take your foot and pull your toes towards your chest and we will stay here longer breathing
to just two more two and then here and then here one amazing and from here you might stay here if this is intense for you or you may place your heel into your hip and then from here I'll push my knee all the way into the floor okay inhale and exhale try to push the knee into the floor and three to go three two and just one more amazing exhale place your legs on the floor twist your ankles your knees move and uh, we will bend our right leg right leg and look uh, my knee and my heel are on the same line parallel to my pelvis it's not too close the heel is not close to my pelvis they are parallel on the same line and i will take my left foot from the outside and i will go from side to side here from side to side okay now if you are flexible and you can do place the foot inside the elbow push the ankle so it's parallel to the floor hug it the, you remember baby our baby sitting your chest up and try to push your ankle as close to your chest as you can just to warm up the hips even more amazing breathing and two more and excellent so what you will do you'll place your heel not exactly on the knee just above your knee and you will stay here for some people you'll be able to stay somewhere here and it's totally fine it's totally fine if you can try to push the knee lower to the floor when you are doing this make sure your knee this knee is above your foot this foot is above your knee so we are on the same line and we will stay here inhaling and exhaling trying to go lower inhaling and exhaling amazing so stay at whichever level you feel is working for you and five more five go four three two and slowly 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 release excellent stretch your legs again release if there is all the tension take it out again be very careful with your hips okay if you feel like your hips are not letting you stretch that much it's totally fine just uh, be cautious about your own body again same knee heel on the same line and i'll take my right foot from out and i will go from side to side from side to side amazing great job and of course if you can try to place your foot inside the elbow and hug your knee hug your ankle and push it to your chest, chest up, chest up, remember, 
Now let's go. An ankle is parallel to the to the floor. Great. And then I will place my heel just above the knee and I will make sure my foot is below the knee. So if you are at this stage, it's totally fine. Just try maybe to push it just a little bit forward to feel the stretch in the hips. If you can, try to push the knee all the way down. Amazing. And we will stay here. So if you can do it here, great job. And if you can go all the way down, amazing. Inhale, be very careful about your knees, okay? Because if the hips uh, are stiff, the knees will suffer. The knees will take all, all the work for the flexibility that hips are lacking, okay? That's why be very careful. If there is too much pain in your knee, don't go for it. And we are breathing. And five to go. Five good. Four. Three, two, and one. Slowly, 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 let's come up and stretch your legs again. If there is any tension, let's release the tension. Amazing. And, okay, so if you are just beginning, you will go back to this one and you will just stay here, okay? If you feel too much pain in your knee, you may bend the leg and try to do it from here, okay? Now, if you want more, if you have very flexible hips, we will start with half lotus. So I will place my uh, heel inside the hip now guys, be very careful, okay? And this heel will go down. So this is half lotus, okay? And you'll try to push the knee down. So it looks like this is a full lotus. <laughs> it looks nice. Now, if you want the full lotus, then you will take this heel and place it inside. Okay, if you want even more, palms into the floor and raise yourself from the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go down, release, stretch your legs, ankles, knees. Now let's go all the way to the other side again. If your hips are still need to be stretched, then you will play, push this heel in and you will try to push this knee down. So in this way, you are taking the tension off your knee, which is below. If you want full lotus, like half lotus, yeah, we'll move step by step half lotus, heel into the hip i think i did this one heel heel into the hip yeah and then you will place this foot all the way down and you will sit here this is half lotus okay now again if you want full version because i know some girls want and can go for the full one inside you must stay here let's go up and stay one two three four and five excellent 
three knees. Three knees, go. Ankles, push them forward, back, circles, if you did full lotus. Excellent. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Great job. And we've got one more stretch. So we'll go on the floor and I will place my right leg on the top of the left. Take your two arms and take your left leg. Try to push it to the chest. This is again a great stretch for the hips and stay here breathing. Inhale the nose, exhale the nose. And three to go. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Place the foot into the floor. Other foot down. Now let's go for the other side. Now left leg will be on the top of the right knee. I'll push the knee out. Two arms. And take your shin. And try to push your right ankle to the chest. And breathe in here. And three more. Excellent. And then place your feet on the floor. And we will finish with the breathing. You may join your feet together, open your knees out if you are flexible in your hips, or you may just stay with your feet on the floor and closing your eyes, placing the palms on your stomach. And we will focus on our breathing. How when we inhale, our stomach goes up, and when we exhale, stomach goes down and relaxes. So you imagine your stomach is a balloon, and you are feeling it, it with the oxygen. So the oxygen in, the air in, and the air out. And just two more. Excellent. And then bring your knees together and push them to one side and then to the other side. Yes. Side, if you want to stretch your arms above your head, stretch your arms. Side. And the other side. Amazing. And then Bend your knees, bend your elbow, go into the fetal position. Inhaling and exhaling. And then slowly inhale, palm into the floor. Legs crossed. And thank you very much. See you tomorrow. I will switch the comments back on so you can tell me how you feel, how was it, how are your hips.
Thank you, Lulu. Thank you, Vatka. Thank you, thank you. How was your hip sitter? Was it okay? Thank you, Laila. Thank you, Naila. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Shukran. Thank you, girls. Hips on fire, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Amazing. I'm, I'm so happy to hear back from you. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.